each town and city in our beloved country has its own way to improve itself. Everything always starts in the mind of one person and then starts to spread. Exactly the same story happened in old Volga city of Rybinsk. Here, local musician Mita Kuznetsov, winner of President Grant, who organized an open air philharmonic to perform ethnic music, once invited Moscow amateur theater of his friend with a spectacle based on Eugene Onegin. He decided to make a prom poster in the Pushkin days 19th century Russian style to attract viewers. Mita carefully examined pre revolution Russian grammar textbooks, researched all photos of Russian cities, and fell in love with this Aras, Yeti, and other Izitsi. It would be amazing to do this in Rybinsk, remember Sator. At that time, city's authorities changed and new ones thought about reconstruction of the historical town center, but had no clue which way to go. It was just me with the sketches. Once the deputy head of the city saw them, jumped up, smashing, this is what we're looking for. Kuznetsov's idea gained the momentum. The mayor's office has already developed the rules for the design of new sites and was preparing to launch the project, but Oblast suddenly introduced unified improvement rules and suddenly everything, the whole project, hanged in the air. However, authorities didn't give up and began to sue for the right to be unique and won. New old signs one after another began to appear above the entrances to Rybinsk hairdressing salons, shops, cafes. Even federal brands joined the game, making their logos in 19th century Russian style. Here is a sign in old Russian style of chain store and even well-known bank advertised by one of the famous Russian actors, Bestrukov. As always, were those who at the beginning were against the return of old style, but eventually gave up. Mr. Mitikoznetsov then stopped and moved forward. The mayor's office gave him full carte blanche for the design of facades. He looked for natural paints that were used back in those days, searched through internet and found an old factory in Yaroslav that still produces iron oxides. His friends found supplies of ochre and red lead and soon the historical paint was created. It turned out as the authentic photographs of Prokodin Gorsky. As a result, 47 quarters of merchant buildings well preserved because Rybinsk was a closed city during the Soviet period, now looked as if they went back in the 9th century. But the most important in this story is work of proud local residents who took an active part in this transformation and voluntarily and free of charge make a huge job for the image of their hometown. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell.